So just the other day, seemingly out of nowhere, we got the trailer for the upcoming Paramount Plus series, Knuckles, which is a spin-off of the Sonic films that we got over the last couple of years. And with the third one due to come out at the end of this year, provided we don't get hit with any delays. But yeah, we're talking about Knuckles for now, not Sonic. So Knuckles is set to be a straight to streaming show, releasing on April 26 on Paramount+. Plus. It's not really one of the streaming services that everybody talks about a whole bunch, but that's okay. Hopefully it gets good viewership, because I'll tell you what, this was a damn good trailer, and really got me interested in watching this show, which actually surprised me as... <gasps> I didn't like Sonic 2 when it came out! I know, shock, horror. And that's certainly one of the opinions I've had before. And I'll be real, at the time, that opinion went down like a lead balloon. People were not happy with my review. And honestly, if I'm being fair, I was probably being overly harsh, and I was guilty of something that I often criticise professional critics of doing. And that is judging everything by the same criteria. So yeah, I don't think I was very fair on Sonic 2. I was probably being needlessly edgy when I reviewed it two years ago. Anyway, I very much enjoyed this. And so yeah, we'll work our way through the trailer and we'll see what pops out of this, shall we? Okay, so for starters, the visuals. As far as I can see in the trailer, it looks really good. Like absurdly good. What's the budget for this show? I suddenly see why so many streaming platforms are introducing ads, adding tears, and have also been in the red for the entire time they've been active. Like, look at this thing! Can't have been cheap! Look at his fur! Or his quills or whatever, he's an echidna. Quills. Spikes? Spines? I mean, just the quality of the big three characters, Tails, Sonic, Knuckles, that's enough. But they have explosions and lasers and lightning, heaps of techno stuff. They've splashed the cash! Gotta get those subscribers, I guess. But Paramount does have a long way to go if they want to catch up to the big names in streaming. Will this help? Eh, I think it'll help a little bit. Looks damn good, that's for sure. Beyond the visuals though, one of the major elements of the trailer that I really enjoyed was that Knuckles was not relegated to a lesser position than Sonic. This is the Knuckles show, and he was front and centre in pretty much every scene. And by the way in which the trailer plays out, it makes it very clear from the get-go that this is going to be the case for the entirety of the show's run. All the scenes with Sonic and Tails, they're around their hometown, so they're likely going to be featured more heavily earlier on, before Knuckles begins his quest to train Wade, the sheriff's deputy, who appeared in the first two films in the Sonic franchise, in the ways of the Echidna Warrior. So, Knuckles is clearly going to be the main hero here, and he isn't going to have to share the limelight too heavily, which is really going to give him a chance to stand out and develop his character a little bit, which can then lead into the third Sonic film, set to release at the end of this year. And I also like that he's getting his own human counterpart in Wade, and that their dynamic as a duo seems so different from Sonic and Tom. Sonic and Tom are like father and son, but this, I don't know, it's like Master and Apprentice, but with more comedy tossed in. Really, my only worry about these sorts of spin-offs is that the main character, and in this case, Sonic, is going to take a back seat, and the spin-off character, Knuckles, is going to get overexposed. And you take what was a fun character as a sometimes sort of thing, and they become very worn out and tedious the longer you're exposed to it. It's the Cars 2 effect. But so far here, I'm not getting that vibe. For one, Idris Elba, He's just having a good year or so as a voice actor. He was really good in The Boy, The Mole, The Fox, and The Horse. And here, yet again, he seems to be turning in another top-level performance. He feels like he's bringing some almost, I don't know, some himbo-esque vibes to this part. Hell, his character honestly reminds me a lot of Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy, just not quite as ridiculous and absurd. But the type of character who's going to do strange things, is obsessed with violence and glorious battle, takes what people say, maybe too literally, has not much nuance in his personality, and doesn't behave in the way that normal people would expect him to. But that being said, I do hope that we get a softer side from his character as well, like we'd see in Drax from time to time, but otherwise, hell yeah, bring on the absurdity. But there is more to the show than just Knuckles. We have the plot. And from what's been said and from what we've seen, the show's going to be a mixture of Knuckles trying to adapt to life on Earth, being a fish out of water and not really knowing where he fits in in this new world, and also him dodging the machinations of The Buyer, a former lackey of Dr. Robotnik who is out to take his powers. And honestly, aside from Knuckles whooping ass against all these minions and whatnot, I honestly do not care much for the storyline. The reality is that we've seen scientists trying to kidnap our cuddly critters from outer space in the first two films, so this feels very repetitive. But that being said, the action that we see in the trailer, it looks very cool. And I feel like the two lackeys that the buyer sends after him, in the way that they interact with Knuckles, gives off Team Rocket vibes, you know what I mean? Like they kind of spout off goofy lines and then he punches them through a building. Ah, oh, that's going to be fun. Honestly, even though I feel like the story is probably going to be repetitive, I think overall it's going to be fine. The action, the comedy, the character of Knuckles, I think that's more than enough to draw me in. Like I said, the fighting sequences from what we've seen look great across the board. 
and the character of Knuckles looks like he's gonna really, well, break out from this performance. I see many fresh memes in this character's future. But what really stood out to me more than anything in this trailer is how funny the script is. Honestly, the trailer peaks so early with the reveal that whilst his new carer Maddie has left the house, Knuckles has turned the family living room into a fight pit. He's gotten the dog a Viking helmet and he's planning a death match between said dog and the local mailman, whom he's kidnapped off the street, put in a holding cell with a baseball bat with nails hammered through it, and is ready to send to his death. <laughs> Look on the dude's face. Priceless. Imagine what he's been through. And then later on in the trailer, maybe one or two scenes after this, the humor hits yet another peak, when Knuckles decides to train Wade to be a true warrior, and he bends and tosses a weighted barbell at him, expecting that he's strong enough to catch it. But he is not. So we've got funny lines that stem from Knuckles' strange and alien personality and warrior spirit. We have absurd gags like the fight arena with the mailman. And then we also have slapstick with the barbell scene and the bowling arena fight. And on top of that, it seems like at least part of this storyline is going to involve bowling championships. Some of the characters are described as champion bowlers. And there's an ESPN 8 bowling panel, so... I'm thinking not only is he going to train Wade as an Echidna warrior, not only is he going to defeat the buyer and his goons, but along the way, He's going to become a bowling world champion. And honestly, it just sounds like a good time. Six episodes of fun and awesome. Oh, I can't wait till April. Let's go! Although I am surprised they're dropping it all at once and not staggering it like Disney Plus does. I feel like that's probably the smarter play if you want to keep people around for longer, but oh well. And so with all that being said, these have just been my opinions and I'd like to hear yours. What did you think of the trailer? Did you like it? Hate it? Do you think the show is going to be any good? Or do you think that these type of spin-offs are usually dead in the water? I'm curious for your thoughts, so make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know.